there's a very consistent um, line, which I hadn't really seen from Saint Laurent, Pearson, through Trudeau, through you, through Mulroney, all the way to, let's say, Paul Martin. Yep, there was. And it, it seemed, and I looked and I went, wow, that is remarkably consistent and Canadian. We, we seem to be the, um, the guy who punches above his weight but is happy to stand just outside the spotlight whispering quietly in people's ears and getting things done. Is that an unfair way of characterizing No, that's it? true, but it, but remember, that's what we do at home, too. I think one of the really important things about uh, Canada's role internationally is that there's a large degree to which it reflects what we do at home. We've been a very successful society at home. I, I don't mean perfect, I just mean better than most of the others, and we've been able to do that by recognizing differences, whether those are cultural differences or regional differences. Uh, again, we're far from perfect, but you look at almost anywhere else that is a federation or is a multicultural country, uh, we've been remarkably successful at, at doing those things. And part of it is that we are prepared to, uh, to sit at the side of the table. We don't insist at always being at the, at the head of the table. Uh, we, uh, I've been saying recently that to us, what comes from the table is more important than who sits at the head of the table. And that has uh, contributed to a lot of our success historically in Canada, uh, internally. But it also has been a hallmark of what we've done, uh, uh, what we've done internationally. You've always been a conservative. I've um, always been a progressive conservative. Progressive conservative. Your your eyes are progressive conservative blue. I mean, it, if I cut you now, you will probably bleed blue. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, but when you look at the political landscape, the centrist Joe Clark that 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 I've known isn't represented by the party whose name has something to do with conservative. Well, two comments on that. One, uh, naturally I'd say this, but I think that the uh, that commentators did not pay enough attention to what the progressive conservatives were when we were around uh, for various reasons. Some of it partisan. Uh, there was a, 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 a tendency to sort of put us off on the uh, on a harder right than we were. Uh, what I am is a progressive conservative. And uh, will that um, party name ever come back federally? Probably not now. Who knows? But probably not. But is that mentality there? Yes. It's there in many of the members of the conservative caucus. That's part of what is quite interesting about this. Uh, I know a fair number of the people who serve in, in this government, either as as members of parliament, uh, a few less now than I used to know, but uh, some, and uh, some who sit in the government. I have great regard for some of them. And I think that if they were at the, at the head of their table, if they were setting the, the uh, pace for, for the, uh, uh, the current government, it would be a very different government uh, than it is. Um, and uh, so I don't think I have to go any place different uh, to find the attitude towards towards uh, public life that uh, uh, different from my tradition to find any uh, to find the attitudes toward public life I'm comfortable with I reg I have I am an orphan politically I have no political party now um, we'll see what happens with uh, uh, with the election as it as it shapes up we'll see if anything happens in the in the Harper party which I'm afraid I doubt we'll see what comes of uh, of Mr Trudeau but my role in this is going to be as a writer of books and as uh, someone who comments on, on these things. The Harper government is a departure uh, from Canadian practice, certainly from Canadian progressive conservative practice. And uh, I, I don't think the fact that the nature and the name of the national government have changed means the country has changed. I think the country that was interested in, by and large, uh, centrist parties, which both at their best, the liberal and the progressive conservative parties were, I think the party remains a centrist country. It becomes, uh, is that even more than it was before because we are now so much more multicultural uh, than we were before. I think a lot of people who come to the country uh, having left for whatever reason their countries of origin are trying to find out what is it we're joining? Uh, who I what is this new identity here? And I think that these are people, you can see it in, their, in, in, the, in the relative ease with which they work with others in their own community. These are people who want to find agreements 
rather than find disagreements. And uh, I, I think that tradition uh, is alive and well. One of the reasons I wrote the book is that I think a lot of the people who should be speaking out more about this uh, have drawn back. Uh, and I rather hope that my book might encourage on international affairs a lot of people who, who share that view, who share that traditional view but I want to apply it to the future, uh, might take some encouragement from uh, the discussions I hope my book will lead to. Well, thank you very much. Um, do you still get to be called Right Honorable? Do you, do you keep, keep that? That's like my title, yeah, yeah, it is, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. pretty cool. That's a pretty cool title. When Maureen and I were at home in Calgary back in the early 90s, um, and I preface it by saying, of course, when you go out of office, uh, all of the friends you thought you had disappear, and you don't get the calls you got. Well, we were at home one day in Calgary, and the phone rang. This is a true story. I picked up the phone. And the female person on the other end said, uh, I'd like to speak to Mr. or Mrs. R.T. Hahn. And I said, uh, I'm sorry, you must have a wrong number. And she said, sir, this is your telephone company. This phone is registered to Mr. and Mrs. R.T. Hahn. And uh, I want to speak to them. And it suddenly occurred to me she was talking about my title, the Right Honorable. So I said, what was it you wanted to talk to the Hahns about, assuming they were here? And she said, I want them to be aware of the privacy provisions of Alberta government telephones, which I thought was a kind of a, a funny story. Yeah. That's <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you for speaking with me, Mr. Hawn. Thank you very much. The book is How We Lead, Canada in a Century of Change. I've been speaking with the Right Honorable Joe Clark, and How We Lead is published by Random House of Canada.